Okay, I'm gonna try to hold you guys far because should I go like this? So you guys don't see this side. Uh. So today we're gonna be making some vegan cookies. Ooh, you guys can see Toy Story in the background. Um, it's a really easy recipe from, oh, I wrote it down. Where is it? Hold on. Okay. Her name is At Home with Tara on YouTube. And yeah, so I'm gonna be using her recipe. We'll see how it comes out. I don't have high hopes for it. Wait, I need to talk like this. I do not have high hopes for it, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna see how it turns out. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna tell you my real thoughts. And there's a few adjustments that I'm gonna make to it. Um, her recipe calls for cardamom. I don't like the flavor of cardamom. She's, I think, she said Persian or something. So kudos to them. They probably like, love that flavor. I don't like it. Um, I will be adding in place of that, I will be adding cinnamon. And she added two tablespoons of rose water, which I do not have. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna add two tablespoons of almond milk because it's liquid, so I thought liquid for liquid. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's get to the recipe. All right, so I have all my ingredients here. We're gonna need almond flour. Um, it calls for maple syrup, but I'm using honey. It needs baking powder, vanilla. I'm using cinnamon instead of cardamom. I'm using, well, I have cashew milk. So I'm using cashew milk instead of the rose water. And I'm also gonna be adding some chocolate chips. So, okay, now let's get situated here. How much honey? One third cup. Oh, I gotta take out the one third cup. Gosh, darn it. Okay, this one has the measurement of one third right here, so I guess this is a two thirds, so this is one third. Oh, somebody wants chocolate. You guys like my decoration? You guys like my decoration? <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna need two cups of, can you guys see? I'm so bad at this. Two cups of almond flour. It says fine almond flour. I'm just gonna use what I have. I don't know if this is considered fine. Need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of a baking powder. There we go. I wonder if I add like a tablespoon of like regular flour if it'll make it better. I'm kind of thinking of doing that. No, don't ruin it. Just leave it alone. It's gonna do that. Um. And then the cardamom, which I'm gonna be using cinnamon. I'm also just gonna eyeball it. Teaspoons of vanilla. Also gonna eyeball it. A one a teaspoon, a two a teaspoon, okay. Oh, somebody wants more chocolate. So now we need the one third cup of maple syrup, which I'm gonna be using honey. Oh, 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 I saw a trick. Oh, let me lick this that if you spray it with like some sort of ooh, oil or spray or something that the honey will not stick let's see if that's true okay so because you know how honey sticks let's see so one third cup let's see if it's true how oh, this hurts no it's still stuck No, nope, 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 that didn't work. Maybe it just works on stainless steel, because when I saw it, it was like stainless steel. Nope, it didn't work. Oh, I just feel like I'm doing this whole thing. Mm. Okay. So, and then it's a two tablespoons of rose water, which I think that's like the wet component. Where did my spoons go? Oh, I put it in here. Two tablespoons of the rose water. I'm going to use cashew milk instead. One and a two. So 
So now we're gonna mix. That's it, right? Saw so baking powder, flour, vanilla, maple. Okay. Now we're gonna mix. With the spatula. Oh, the chocolate chips. We're just gonna get a half full of chocolate chips and throw them in there. Oh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now let's mix. I don't know why these seem so dry, but we're just gonna go with it. I don't have high hopes for it. I really don't. What's cool about vegan dishes is that most of them you can eat, like try them raw. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna try it. Oh. That's real good. Maybe some more chocolate chips. Let's make them real chocolatey. Ooh, what if I add like cocoa powder? Ooh, that might be real good too. But no, I'm gonna leave them alone. I think I added enough chocolate chips. Ah, uh, I had already pulled out the parchment paper. Now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It was right in front of my nose, of course. I'm just gonna use a good old spoon. Oh, that's my big, that's my, um, I know that these are not going to fluff up like regular cookies would. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of spread them out like a cookie. Okay. So I've been wanting to make scones, but those are not vegan. I might end up doing a Trader Joe's haul because I'm going to be going soon to Trader Joe's. So, I don't know. I might do one. I might not. I'm not sure yet. I also kind of feel like doing like, like a day of meals type of video for like a few days, like a few meals. You know what I mean? I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or a lot of views, but it might be fun for the little bit of people that are viewing me, you know. Stick, in, stick these in the oven for 350 degrees for, I don't even know, 10 minutes? I'll try 10 minutes. So here they are. It took about 15 to 16 minutes for them to cook. I just waited until they looked a little bit brown from the edges, and then I let them semi fully cool down they are a little brown from the bottom and i will say it will be better if you spray them because uh it takes a little bit of effort to take them off as you can see i have to like slowly pull them but that doesn't bother me so if you don't want to struggle at all but it's not really struggling you just kind of oh yeah see this one kind of yeah you gotta be real careful i would yeah just spray them anywho let's try them let me turn you guys around so it's me and my daughter. Go back so the people can see you. We're gonna try them. Here it is. Ooh. Okay. Did you like them? Mm -hmm. Okay, go eat it. Okay. Thoughts. Thoughts. Very good. Now, are these going to taste like a tradition, traditional Chips Ahoy? Lada, lada, lada. No. Mmm. They remind me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. Hold on, let me think for a minute. They really remind me of something. And I can't put my finger on it. Okay. Yeah, oh well. So, they're not going to taste like a traditional, like, Chips Ahoy, chocolatey, chewy type of cookie. They're chewy. I think I left them in there a tad too long. I think I would do more, like, 12 minutes. Because the browning that, I, that happened on the bottom tastes a little bit caramelized but as you can see you know it does look like a cookie it's really good it's a good 
alternative if you really want something sweet. These are very, very sweet. Remember, I added the chocolate, chocolate chips because I did me. You do you. You can add cranberries. You can add whatever you want, you know? Hmm. I cannot put my finger on what it is that it reminds me of. I'll be making these again as a sweet treat. My daughter just came back and got her second one. They're really, really good. Really good. I do recommend them. They are good. They are delicious. They taste buttery. Even though there's no butter in there, they taste very, very buttery. Um, they might be a tad too sweet for my taste. Perfect for kids though. So next time I think I might like half the sugar or the honey. Okay, so yes, thumbs up. Definitely try these. They do look like cookies, but um, they don't taste like, you know, traditional cookies, like a Chips Ahoy chewy one or even the, even the hard ones. They're just, they're their own thing. They're almond. They're like almond cookies. That's what they are. They're really good. Definitely try these guys. It was very simple to make. Okay, so it's me in the future. I finally figured out what those cookies remind me of. They remind me of snicker doodle cookies. That's what they remind me of. 